Hi, this is David McCann for WebTNG. In this video, I'm looking at WP Vivid. If you've watched some of my videos in the past, you'll notice that on my testing sites, I often have all-in-one WP migration installed, and I use that for backing up the websites and refreshing them between testing cycles. But recently, I've started to reconsider that strategy, and I've been looking at using the free version of WP Vivid. And in this video, I'm going to share with you why I've made that decision. Okay, here is uh, one of the starter sites I have when I'm testing a plugin or theme. And what I have here is I have a custom post type, right? So if I'm testing a page builder or a Gutenberg block or something, I have some dynamic data set up to test with. You know, I have ACF installed to create that. But I've also got a bunch of sample post data here also. Okay, so that's uh, one of my starter sites. And if we look at the plugins here, see I have advanced custom fields. I have all-in-one migration, the free version, all-in-one migration pro, the premium version. This one is for pCloud. Now, usually that's all you'd see, but for this video, I've also installed the WP Vivid backup plugin. The process that I go through when I want to spin up a new testing site is I'll come to the starter site, I'll make sure everything is up to date, and then I'll go and I'll export the site to a file on my local hard drive and then I go to an empty new site and I'd import that same backup file and then I install the page builder or the Gutenberg blocks plugin or the theme or whatever I'm testing. And when I'm working with one of my production sites and I know I'm going to be making a big change, I'll come in and take a backup, a manual backup, then also and bring it down to my local hard drive. I'll spin up a staging site on my local hard drive and import that backup there, make the changes, and then kind of do the same process in reverse to push those changes to production. So I have two backup solutions here. One reason why I'm switching to WP Vivid is because the free version of all-in-one WP migration lets you migrate a site, like from my starter site to a new testing site, for free. However, it's got some pretty strict size limitations. And what will happen is you'll export the site, and then when you go to import, it'll say it's too big and you need to get one of the premium extensions. Now, WP Vivid handles the free versus pro features differently. And as a result, there isn't that size restriction that I've run into on these sites that I've been working with. All right, let's just go ahead and make an export I'm going to export to file. Here we are using all in one WP migration. And then I'm going to download it. I'm going to put it in this backups folder here and save it and close. All right, now let's just go and refresh here for a second. Okay, you see I have that back up just to be sure that we're comparing apples to apples here. I'm going to remove this backup because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another backup with WP Vivid. And I don't want to accidentally include this and skew the results here. So let's delete that. Now let's go to WP Vivid. I'm going to do backup now. Okay, database and files. And it's making the backup. You can see the progress up there. It's backed it up. And 
I'm going to go down here and I'm going to download it. And we'll put it in that same folder. All right, now let's go and look at that folder. You see that the one made with WP Vivid is 33 megabytes smaller than the one made with all-in-one WP migration. So I noticed this last week. I happened to use WP Vivid in a site and when I saved the backup, I said, whoa. And it was a bigger site. And so the, you know, 33 megabytes is significant, but on a bigger site, it was even a larger difference. So that's the first thing that caught my attention. Now, here's another thing to consider. If you go and you double click on the backup from all one WP migration, it's a proprietary file structure. It's not a regular archive file. All-in-One WP Migration does have a separate desktop program or a website where you can upload your backups to in order to decompress them. But WP Vivid is just using a standard zip file and I can just double click on it to expand it. And then if I want to get a particular file, like a plugin or a theme, or maybe some images from the uploads directory, then I can open that archive and grab those files. It's, you know, kind of easy peasy. So that's a second advantage that I think WP Vivid has there. Now, Let's go to All-in-One WP Migration main website. If we go to the products page, you can buy an unlimited extension and that removes the size limitation. That's $69 a year. It's uh, an annual subscription. Or you can purchase a extension per backup target. All right, so if you're using Dropbox, $99 a year. OneDrive, $99 a year. pCloud, $99 a year. Okay, so you buy it per storage target. When I started out a long time ago, using this, I stored my backups in Dropbox because back then, you know, you got some free storage. But it wasn't long before I ran out of disk space and I had to get another option and I got some pCloud storage. So I was glad to see that it supported pCloud, but I had to make another purchase. Okay, if we go and look at the WP Vivid pricing, we'll see that they have annual pricing and they have lifetime pricing. All One WP Migration doesn't have lifetime pricing anymore. They used to. So that's yet another advantage of WP Vivid. Okay, and if we look at the features here and we go down we see the plugin supports all of the target storage options. You don't have to purchase a different extension depending on where you're storing your backups. So that is another advantage of WP Vivid. All right, so here we are on the comparison of free versus pro. I just wanted to point out some of the advantages of Pro. You have the option for incremental backups, which will save a lot of space on storage. You can pick which files and directories, database tables, and even databases that you want to include in the backup. There's a rollback option, which you can enable when your site updates, it will first take a snapshot before the update process begins in case there's an issue with an update. And there are some more staging options. 
I haven't used WP Vivid staging. The Pro version does support multi-site. You have the option to encrypt your backups, and you have white label and other features available. All right, so that's my look at WP Vivid, why I'm going to start using the free version instead of using a pro version of all-in-one WP migration. Even the free version of WP Vivid has a number of advantages. So I hope you found the video thought-provoking and interesting and useful. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.